All right, let's get right into it. NVIDIA just announced something that could literally change the game for how the next wave of AI gets built. We're talking about a desktop machine that has the raw power of a supercomputer. It's called the DGX Spark. You know, to really wrap your head around why this is such a huge deal, you have to look at this quote from NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang. He's not just launching a new gadget here. He's framing this as picking up a mission that kicked off the entire generative AI revolution in the first place. And this timeline? Well, it kind of lays it all out, doesn't it? Back in 2016, you had the DGX-1. That was the first spark that lit this massive fire. Now fast forward to 2025, and the DGX spark is being positioned to ignite the next big wave. So to really get what's happening now, we have to rewind the clock a bit. Yeah, to see where we're all going, you have to understand this one pivotal moment back in 2016. So this story is legendary in Silicon Valley. Jensen Huang personally drove over and hand-delivered the very first DGX-1, a literal AI supercomputer in a box, to this small, pretty ambitious research group run Elon Musk, which you've probably heard of, OpenAI. That one machine, that single box, became the engine that fueled the research that led us straight to ChatGPT. Just think about that. One box, delivered by hand, helped start a revolution. Okay, so let's jump back to today. Because the wild success of that very revolution has created a brand new and very frustrating problem for developers everywhere. So here's the core issue, plain and simple. The AI models that are being dreamed up today are just astronomically bigger than they were a few years ago. I mean, we're talking about models with hundreds of billions of parameters. These monster workloads have completely blown past the memory and the power of the PCs and workstations that millions of developers use every single day. And this right here, this creates a massive bottleneck. It's this super frustrating question that pretty much every AI developer is now facing. What do you do? What do you do when your ambition, when your big ideas are literally too big for the computer sitting on your desk? Well, what happens is you get stuck in this, this really painful cycle. You get a great idea, you start coding it up, and then bam, you hit a hardware wall. Your PC just chokes. So you have to stop everything, reconfigure your whole project to run on the cloud or some remote data center, send it off, and then you just wait. It completely shatters your creative flow and slows down innovation to a crawl. And that is the exact problem NVIDIA is aiming to solve. How? By once again putting a supercomputer directly in the hands of the people who are building the future. So say hello to the DGX Spark. People are already calling it the world's smallest AI supercomputer. This is basically a whole new category of machine, one that's designed to just sit there in your office or in a lab right on your desk, but with the kind of performance you need to tackle these insane AI workloads all locally. And when you put them side by side, the difference is, well, it's night and day. A typical high-end workstation, it just has limited memory. That's what forces you into that slow, painful, cloud-based workflow. The DGX Spark flips the script completely. It has a massive 128 gigabytes of unified memory. And what that means for you is you get your results instantly and you can keep your entire creative process right there on one machine. No more waiting. The performance numbers here are just mind-boggling. We're talking about a petaflop of AI performance. Now, to put that into perspective, that is 1,000 trillion calculations every single second, all happening inside a box that can sit on your desk. It's just wild. So what does all that power actually get you? Well, it means a developer can now work with and fine-tune these huge state-of-the-art AI models. We're talking up to 200 billion parameters right there locally. This is something that, until now, was pretty much only possible if you had access to a massive data center. This completely changes the rules for local development. So the magic that makes this all happen is NVIDIA's latest and greatest tech. The heart of the whole thing is the new Grace Blackwell superchip. It basically puts the CPU and GPU right next to each other and links them to that huge 128 gigs of shared memory. And they're all connected by this private data superhighway called NVLink, which is five times faster than the current standard. It just gets rid of all the bottlenecks that would normally bring a system like this to its knees. Okay, so the hardware is obviously incredible. But what does a machine like this actually unlock for the future of AI? What does it let us do? Well, the DGX Spark was purpose-built to speed up development on what many people think is the next giant leap, Agent AI. We're not just talking about an AI that can answer a question. We're talking about an AI that can understand a complex goal, reason about it, create a multi-step plan, and then actually go out and act on that plan all by itself. And this is absolutely crucial. 
It's not just a box of parts. It is a complete, ready-to-go platform. It comes with NVIDIA's entire AI software suite already installed, so developers get instant access to models, to libraries, and to all the tools they need to start building these advanced AI agents, literally right out of the box. So let's zoom out for a second, because the real impact here goes way beyond just one developer's desk. This is a bigger deal. I mean, you just have to look at who is already on board to see that this is a major shift. The industry buy-in is massive. You've got all the big AI players, Google, Meta, Microsoft, and you've got all the major computer makers, Dell, HP, Lenovo. They're all already testing and building systems with DGX Spark. That tells you everything you need to know. And it's not just big tech either. Research labs are all over this. And this quote from Professor Kyung Hyun Sho at NYU, it really says it all. He points out that this newfound ability to rapidly prototype and just experiment on your own desktop is a complete game changer, especially for fields where data is sensitive, like healthcare, where you just can't send things to the cloud. So this all brings us back to the final and most important question. That first AI supercomputer in a box, it led us to ChatGPT. Now, NVIDIA is putting that same level of power, and honestly, a whole lot more, on the desk of any developer who wants it. So the real question isn't if the next breakthrough is coming, the question is, what will it be, and who is going to build it?